Hello again, everyone. I am still into using up bits and pieces. So, you may remember I did this background the other day with um, embossed white uh, stamp and then some um, brushed on Distress Oxides. And then I added a little Prisma pencil, which I smoothed out or diffused or whatever you care to call it with some essential oil so I thought I would use some of the, the demos that I was doing so from this piece here I cut a whole bunch of petals um, that were from uh, Charlie and Porsche in that die German company and what I thought I would try and do was just use up some the remaining bit of this from yesterday's card which is um, a tonic studios background die that I bought on clearance on a tag um, I'd do a little bit of stenciling a little bit of stamping a little bit of inking I, <laughs> that's the way I go the way I roll I think that's is that what you say anyway let's let's kind of start I think what I'll do first of all I fancy having some of this you see kind of on the bottom of here somehow and I thought behind that I might have just a little colour. So I'm going to use a bit of the, the two colours that I used there, which were tumbled glass and salvaged patina. Somebody told me it's patina, but you say to tomato, I say tomato, you know, the sort of thing. I say what I say. So tumbled glass, let's have some of this one. Just a little, just across the bottom, I think. I don't want much. Just a hint of colour. That's quite nice, isn't it? Gentle. Tumble the glass. Let's put some tether on. In the corner. Okay. I think that will do. Right. Okay, now this I have a fancy of going over the top of it. So let me cut up. This is a, I don't know, I can't remember the name of this tag. I've got a set of them. And I'm going to cut it out, this, with the bottom of the tag so that it will fit exactly onto the bottom of there. Do I have a bit of white at the bottom? Um, perhaps I do. Perhaps I will. Just a little bit of that white. Try and get it square. Okay, let's just cut this out. I'm using a piece of um, mylar just to protect my top plate. Actually, <laughs> this tag was also, it's also from scraps because what happened yesterday I made my card and after I'd finished it, I dropped it into some glue or something. I don't know what it was. So the back of the card was all messy. Tried to wipe it off. This is, this is, this was the back of the card. Tried to wipe it off, but you can see there's still some glue there. So I cut the card in half, trimmed down the front and then put it onto another card base. And I'm using the leftover bit for stuff like this. So this should fit now nicely over that. But what I think I'm going to do is just cut over there just a little bit, trim it down a little bit. How should we do this? There we go. I think that'll be all right. Throw that bit, oh, nearly threw my flower away. Can't have that. But I won't put that on for a moment because what I think I'm going to do first is put on my, stenc my stenciling. And I thought I'd just use these random numbers. These are from Gummy A Pan, stencil number 46. So where shall we have some numbers? Just on this side over here, I think. 
let's um, this is my homemade embossing paste which has been in here forever and it's still fine getting a bit a bit thick but i think it'll be fine let's just put a little on here put too much on my on my knife okay That's all I need, I think. That would be lovely. Now, I must just wipe this because it will be diff more difficult to clean off if I leave it. So, wipe a palette knife. Put the lid on this. Wipe that away. Look quite nice on the mat, did not it? Give this a wipe. If you can't put it into water straight away, just a quick wipe will, will help enormously so that you can clean it later. Or just put it, a damp or a baby wipe or something over the top. Right, now, this stuff dries really quickly. I think I'll put a little twinkle on it before it does dry, actually. Let me just do that. I think quite like a bit of twinkle. There we go. Can you see? Oh, it is pretty. So pretty. This is just glamour dust or diamond dust or whatever they call it. It's, it's you know, there's so many different makes of this kind of stuff. This is going to go on here. I thought I'd have a little bit of stamping as well this is just a, um, a script text stamp from indigo blue I, bought, I got a couple out i didn't know this one is just like a crazy thing crazy whatever crazy and this is a, a bit of text i think i use the text and um what should i do it with I don't know what this is going to work like. I've got an old, old silver ink pad. Let's just see if it... Oh, let's just see. I was going to use gold, but I think that silver just kind of looks nice with this colour. Let me just... We'll put that... There. Just leave a moment for it to grab. Oh, that's quite nice. I'll put some on somewhere else in that case. And a bit more. I probably should have done this before the... In the... the paste but it doesn't matter okay let's wipe this up i haven't used that for ages right quick wipe will do now how we're we doing this goes to this on here i might put some silver um embossing paste around this edge here. I've got these out. I thought I would just show you. Um, it, I want to have some middles, you know, like the, the stamen-y bits in the middle of some flowers. I thought I'd have this on here like this, just a little bit. I need something else up here at the moment, don't I? I think I need some more colour up there. I might put a bit more of the ink on. But I got out these because these are just dyes that have got holes in them. So if you want to have little little round embellishments, these ones are actually sort of rounded off squares. Um, it's supposed This one's supposed to be for the top of a, a notebook or something, I think. But you can just put a piece of double-sided tape on the back of some um, mirror card, cut it out, and then you just take off the backing and pop them on your card. Easy, easy as anything. 
Right, I think I need a bit of colour up there. Let me just get this one. This is the tumbled glass. Yeah, they're just about dry now, you see, which is brilliant. Put a bit of colour up here. I'm liking that edge. So I'm a bit over this side too. Let's have the other one. The salvage pattern. Okay. This one seems much more juicy somehow. I need something there. Can't think what at the moment. Let me stick this on. With my broad tipped glue pen. Okay, a little of that writing shows through. hard to get things to stick down all over isn't it right we're getting there slowly right now my flowers I think we'll shake these a little bit just with an embossing tool on a foam mat And this one. Okay. I think that would be quite nice. Okay, I put some foam tape on the back of this to keep it uh, from flattening completely. Let's just let the dog see the rabbit as my father used to say. Right, a little bit of foam tape. Down the middle of there. Down the middle of this one. And a little bit on the other one. I have an idea I may just put a bit of silver on the edges of this as well. Where would we like that one? Yeah, I think we'll have a bit of silver. Right. Silver embossing powder. not embossing powder at all it is embossing paste this is an old eyeshadow applicator i think it might have had it in the gold before now let's just see if it's all right there's a little bit of scrap yeah that's fine right just a touch of silver on the edges. Don't mind if it goes over a bit, but on this one. I find this um, these little applicators are really, really handy. I used to use my finger, but you, I, I find I've got much more control with one of these things and I can get into much smaller place, <laughs> places than my, my fat fingers. Right, I will just put a little glue on the end of this piece here. Are you coming out? Yes. 
Yes, okay. Right, I'll take these off. I do like using up stuff that I've prepared. Stay. They're so pretty. Let me have a look. I can see better if I hold it with tweezers because my fingers don't get in the way. I think that's okay there. There we go. Now, I feel that a few tiny pearls might come in handy as well. So let's pop some of these on. I get these from eBay. There are loads of sellers that sell all sorts of bits and pieces of things and stuff. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Now I just need a, a, a bow or a tie or something and we can pop this onto a card. I was thinking, actually, I may, this year I may just sit down and do a whole bunch of Christmas tags and, that I'm actually going to use. I don't usually decorate tags to, to, to use. I only decorate tags to put onto, um, onto special cards. But let me just, I don't know if I can find a bit of silver, just to do some little dots to show you. Any bit of silver I could find. This is one of Cleo's favourites. I'll just put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back. Just a little bit. Don't need much. This one is a, a border die. It's just got lots of little holes. So I'll just cut a bit of it and show you. I'll just do that bit there. Gonna have to cut a piece off. Too big to go through my machine. Right, let's just pop this on here. Right, so here's my. There are all my little silver baubles kind of thing. So what I need to do is take off the backing. Has it come off? No, it's still on. Oh, it's there. All right. Pick it up. And stick it on. Take off the backing. Pick it up. And stick it on. Take off the backing. Pick it up. It is so quick and oops so easy I think there we go and they sort of kind of go with the ones that are on the leaves already so have a look through your dice see if you've got some that have got holes and then you can use the bits that come out of the holes as little embellishments so I will put this onto a card I will find a ribbon if I can't find a ribbon that's the right colour I will just choose some white or whatever and I can colour it with um, alcohol markers, whatever, just to make sure that it looks in keeping with the colour of my, of my tag. So there we go. Lots of bits used up. As ever, thank you so much for watching. I'll clear up my mess and I'll see you next time. <laughs>